if you're not controlling the temperature of rooms in your home individually with something like this, you might be wasting energy, heat, and money. But don't panic. I'm going to show you how they work, how to get started, and how it changed my actual gas bill. Let me be candid for a minute. There's never been a more appropriate time to smarten up a home heating system. Governments are spending billions to support consumers struggling with surging energy costs, some of whom in Europe have seen the price of heating a house quadruple this year alone. Now, utility companies commonly say, turn down your thermostat, which is good advice, but my thermostat, and more importantly, the temperature sensor inside of it, lives in my hallway, like it does for many people. So how does that help my central heating unit know how cool or hot my living room is, or even if I'm in it? The answer is, it doesn't. But it's still how millions of homes are set up. Take this example, which represents how more than 90% of British houses are heated. First, a thermostat takes a temperature reading from wherever it's placed. If it's colder than it's set to allow, say 20 degrees Celsius, it tells the central heating to fire up. That means a boiler, powered by gas or electricity, heats up 50, maybe 100 litres or more of water and pumps it through the pipework towards a radiator in each room. These have manually set valves that limit how much water enters it, usually with a massively not at all helpful 1 to 5 dial on it, like this one, and therefore how hot that room should get. But they don't control the boiler directly, and once the thermostat detects that its area is warm enough, it shuts off the boiler and the radiators stay warm for a while. So over the last few years, products like this one have emerged. This one's actually made by a company called Hive. It's one of many smart replacements to the valve that controls a radiator. In North America, you can get something that controls the HVAC system's furnace as well. They all kind of work the same way. They're battery powered, wireless, they've got their own thermostats inside them, and in addition to working automatically, can also work with your Apple or Amazon or Google smart home assistants, so you can set them when you're away from home. They control the boiler or furnace directly, and a pack of five of these ones cost me £200. It's about $240 US. Once installed, you can see and change the temperature of individual rooms. Most importantly though, you can heat just the rooms that you're using, or shut the whole heating system off if nobody's home. I fitted all of these radiator valves myself, and I'm going to install one on a radiator I may just have bought earlier as a demonstration. So at the bottom, you would have one of these basic valves, which you would twist to change the temperature on. You would unscrew it and pop the old one off. This would still be attached to the radiator, of course, like this one is that I prepared earlier. Take the new valve, pop it over. You might just need to screw it on, or in this case, there's a little Allen key that you would tighten it up with to fix it to the valve. And this is really just so it doesn't fall off. And that's it. My handy clock here says that took probably less than 30 seconds. Okay, now let's take a look at how rooms can be heated. With the smart valve and thermostat attached, each radiator takes the temperature of a room. If it's too cold, it tells the central heating to fire up and the valve opens. But this time, all the other valves in the house can be closed up. That means water's pumped through the pipework as normal, but only goes to this radiator. The room heats up, the boiler shuts off, less water heated, less energy consumed, less money spent. I concluded that my savings on gas for the months this year, during which I'll actually be using the heating, cancel out the cost of all five valves that I bought. Maybe not a saving for the period, but these valves are going to still work next year, and the year after, and so on, meaning I now expect overall savings. Globally, heating systems vary wildly, but similar products to Hive are available in different markets. In North America, one popular option is Ecobee. If none of these smart options are available to you, it's worth keeping in mind that even a one degree reduction to your main thermostat can translate to significant cost savings at minimal change to comfort levels. The Worldwide Fund for Nature actually promotes the same one degree reduction as a good way to reduce carbon emissions too. Whatever system you go for, let me know how you get on via social media or wherever you're watching this. For Quick Take in London, I'm Nate Langson, and I've been Technically Speaking.